Well, the oldest daughter and I are headed out on kind of a local bikepacking adventure to Indy Lakes, which is about oh, 12 miles, give or take, away, so we can have a leisurely and fun ride, fun afternoon and evening, and then ride back tomorrow. She's riding my old Trek 930 uh, mountain bike, and I'm on my Mongoose Elroy, so we'll shoot a little video here and there. Turn on Southport Road. This is the last turn before we get there. The one thing about staying over here is you've got the water treatment facility just north. Uh, so depending on what way the winds are blowing, you can get some of that funky smell in this area. Now this is Mike's Southport Lake. This is not where we're staying. So this is another place I might look into sometime. This is nearby. Alright, so here we come up upon Indy Lakes. You can see there's a lot of RV pull behind uh, fifth wheel campers. Uh, not sure how many primitive sites. Tent camping sites get used, but We'll be one of them tonight. There we are. Contest Taylor.com. Give us a free advertising. Ready to trail a little bit behind there. Alright, check in here. She's here. fun irony we just checked in and they had these free magazines the indie magazine cycle city everything you need to know about an amazing biking adventure So we've got a little campfire ring here. So there are one, two, three, four, uh, I guess four, it shows on the map, four uh, tent sites up in the corner here. And uh, I won't even need to buy any uh, wood tonight with this brush pile over there they're trying to get rid of. And picnic table. So we'll clear as many rocks and shit as possible here and uh, set up. I'm a tax for both of us it ended up being $21.40. So you don't have water on the tent sites but you do have uh, electrical so that can be handy. It's good to get the fire started. They do give like a 20 minute warning to everybody that the place is getting ready to close. I think they have the last remaining payphone in existence, though some crackhead got angry at it. Oh, it doesn't work. Yeah. yeah, they do have, I don't know how many cabin spaces, but it's, I don't know, one or two. So there's a small lake over here. 
all that. And then there's this section. The two main areas, huh? What's that? Yeah, you can run them online. Reserve them or call in would probably be the best way to do it. And there's a lake over there. That must be, I don't know if that's a private lake or just another pay lake. Always the geese coming for you, Lydia. Good deal of folks getting fishing in for the day. Saw one lady brought in quite a whopper earlier. And then we're back at our campsite. Our corner campsite. Fun. A little nocturnal exploring here. Trucking down Southport Road. We got our high beams on. Bacon shake two miles away ish. Go in there and get a little late night vittles. Some might say this isn't camping, you're going to steak and shake. Listen, we make anything we want an adventure. <laughs> what? <laughs> he didn't have to do anything. <laughs> Back to Indy Lakes after a night exploration ride of the Southport Road region. Oh, potholes. Getting ready to leave Indy Lakes here after a Mountain Dew charge up. Uh, not a paid advertisement, by the way. I definitely dig this spot. I mean, for $10 overnight for adult, that's one of the cheapest places around anywhere in Central Indiana to tent camp. Um, it's quieter than I even thought that it would be here. Uh, this is just kind of one side of it. Um, you know, it's mostly RV and pull behind campers. Well, mostly pull behind fifth wheels. Um, there is uh, like mad security camera action up front. Uh, so, you know, you've got a pretty, pretty decent, and there's a, a gate, not that you couldn't ride around on a bicycle, but there is a drop gate at night after hours. Um, so, you know, I definitely plan to come back. It's not far from home. Just, it'd be a great spot for just like what we did, just overnight, you know, quick setup. Enjoy yourself. There's also stuff to ride to. Uh, there's a steak and shake, obviously, um, like 1.8 miles away. There's a gas station two miles away. Uh, Greenwood's not far away, south side of Indy, which we're on technically. Um, but you can get to Indianapolis, that's not far if you want to explore that. So, a cool spot. And uh, I look forward to coming back some other time in a few weeks. It's a little town cemetery. Always remember when times are hard, at least you're breathing. So it's a good day. The West Newton Friends Cemetery. Tobacco shop. As we head south on Minden Hall. Alright. It's all you girl. We just follow it to the left up here. Up the hill. Oh, 
Alrighty, so we are in Canby. Man, Lydia. This is Canby? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, Walmart What's that? Are they both the Walmart? Yeah. Yeah. Well, we've gone six and a half miles from Indy Lakes at the moment. So. Yep. What goodwill upon yonder parking lot breaks? We shall go see if we can procure sundry gear for cheap upon these premises. Camelback. 99 cents. Already finding that gear. Vintage biker swag there. Puffy 10 speed Santa Fe. Look at those graphics. Well, found the new camelback. I found a little handy stuff sack. I fell over a little bit. Uh, and Lydia found some Nike All Conditions gear pants and running shorts. So that was a win win. Only spent about 10 bucks. Rolling into Mooresville up here. Our old hometown for about 15 years before we moved to Plainfield. The cruise through the old area to see what's going on and grab some lunch. Stop and have lunch at a Mooresville Classic. The Hong Kong restaurant. Not a buffet. You just order your food by the plate. Good stuff. Back in Hendricks County, head north. Just about to Plainfield proper in a few miles. Bad RV pulled over. Three plane, three plane field cops, one undercover, all on an RV. They're out getting them talking to. I wonder if he's got a, a mobile meth lab. Who knows? This is what rush hour traffic in Plainfield looks like. Gonna take our secret passageways. Jump the curb. Right at 20 miles for the day. I'm gonna go grab a coffee or a sweet tea at Metro, where we started at yesterday on our adventures. You've done a heck of a job, Lib, with all your pedaling. Well, we're almost home. We had a blast. This goes to show if you're going to have fun bikepacking, you don't necessarily have to go on some long trip. Just go across town wherever it doesn't matter and enjoy yourself and have some family time or friends time or whatever